When I was a teenager, I was interested in three things, design, biology, and the environment. And I thought about studying biology at university, but I, I couldn't see the creative side of it at that point. So I left biology behind and went to study architecture. And then some years later, when I started working on the Eden Project, I realized that actually there was a way to combine those three things, design, biology, and the environment, and that is biomimicry. So in many ways, I feel very lucky. Well, I think the Eden Project was when I first started working with it in a very deliberate way, mm -hmm. uh, looking specifically at biological examples to help us solve some of the design challenges, for instance, how the structure came together at the junctions, how we would create very lightweight inflated pillows, mm -hmm. all those kind of things. For, for that, uh, biomimicry was a, a really useful source. What would you consider as your best project, biggest uh, biomimicry inspired project? Well, the Sahara Forest Project is one that I'm very proud of because I, I jointly initiated that and we've now built the first version and uh, we've set up a company specifically to deliver that. So, so that's a success story. Uh, one that uh, I'm sure will be a success but is not quite off and running yet is the Biomimetic Office. Mm -hmm. So for that, we, we worked with quite a conventional building type and we used nearly a hundred different bio biological organisms mm -hmm. to help us uh, address some of the key functional challenges in very new and innovative ways. Yeah. Could you maybe tell us a bit more about the Sahara Project? Yes, yeah, sure. The Sahara Forest Project is uh, an idea for bringing together three main technologies. So it's forms of solar power, it's a, a type of greenhouse inspired by the fog basking beetle, and its approaches to desert revegetation. And by taking an integrated approach to those, we've, we've found that we can actually uh, explore some very interesting synergies. And a, a lot of this is about uh, trying to mimic ecosystem models. So in ecosystems, you have a lot of different organisms that have quite complex interrelationships and interdependencies. And as a whole system, it all runs on current solar energy, it's uh, zero waste, it's highly productive. So it's got a lot of the characteristics that we actually need to bring about in society, in our cities and industries and so on. And, and that's why circular models and ecosystem models are, are so fascinating. Mm -hmm.